Hey, how's it going? It's Craig. I'm out in the garage and today we are cleaning the getaway pinball. Let's take a look. Okay, so I'm out in the garage and I've got a few things to be doing today. I've got a couple of mods on their way, so we're not going to cover them today, but I've got a mountain mod, a donut heaven mod, and I've got a couple of other things such as like uh, micro machines and a couple of other car mods and things I want to put in here, but they'll be for another video. Today we're just going to focus on cleaning this thing because I've owned this machine for over a year now. And I'm not giving it a proper clean. I've cleaned the play field with cloths and things like that in the past, but I've not waxed it. And the main reason being there's so much bloody information out there that conflicts and tells you not to do this and to do that, that I just read everything and it just paralyzed me. So I've jumped in and I've given myself a list of things I'm going to be using today. And that is a foam cleaner. Uh, the foam cleaner I'm going to use first of all on the play field, give everything a nice clean. Um, I bought some Nuvos 1, 2 and 3. I know that 2 and 3 are too aggressive for the play field. Uh, I might use N Nuvos 1 if there's any stubborn marks. And then finally, once I've finished cleaning, I've got a Canuba wax, and this is a Natty's Paste wax. Uh, bought it on Amazon. I couldn't find any of the ones which I've seen recommended in the US, in the UK. Um, so I went with a Natty's Paste wax, mainly because I've seen such great reviews of it for cars and things like that, and I thought, well, if people are raving about it for cars, then it should be all right for the play field in here. So, smells lovely. Have a sniff of that. It smells, <laughs> smells like a coconut oil type wax. Um, really nice. So I'm gonna give that a go, see how that finishes in the play field. I've got some new rubbers here as well, and I've got a couple of new pinballs to go in there. So I'm gonna do the cleaning today. I've got those other mods to go in in the future. Um, but at the moment, I just really wanna get everything nice and clean, ready for when they go in. And get the glass pack on afterwards and then hopefully get everything up and running uh, to have a good blast in it once it's all waxed and everything else it should be playing lovely so another thing I bought which I haven't mentioned is a dedicated cleaning kit so microfiber towels which I'll use for the, the waxing and the cleaning I'll make sure that I keep it to the right towel for the right product so I won't be mixing them nice mitt for polishing as well and then a chamois at the end so yeah, I don't know whether we'll use the chamois, but I'll certainly be using the microfiber towels and I'll be keeping them, if I use it on the foam cleaner, I won't be using it on the wax, vice versa. So, yeah, nice little kit. I can keep all my products in here at the end and have a nice little cleaning kit for the pinball machines. Let's get stuck in. I'm just going to time-lapse this through. I'm not going to show you and I'm not going to talk through anything, um, but hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing um, and then I'll come back at the end and show you a little bit how it looks at the end of it. Cool, let's take a look. Okay, so I've got all the rubbers out that I want to get out, even one snap and a little bit of a, a stretch on it and it wouldn't have lasted much longer. They're all absolutely disgusting, so they're very, very disgustingly dirty. Um, they're all stretched out of shape. The guy that I bought this pinball machine off said that he had it serviced. I don't think this has been serviced in a few years. He's had the LED lights done and things, which is great, but if you're not doing the rubbers and things as well, it, it's going to deteriorate over time. So. About time we caught this. I'm glad I'm changing them now. Waxing the playfield and things is an annual thing, or even more regular than that. But these things they need to change every couple of years just so they're fresh. They give you the right kind of bounce as well as well to it. Um, so let me go through, change all these over now. Um, once I've changed all these, I think I'll give all the targets and things a bit of a clean first, and then I'll clean the playfield after that. Cool. Let me get on with it.
Okay, so all looking nice and clean. Look at that. I'll show you the <laughs> the light on it and everything on there. That wax is absolutely amazing. I, I'm really pleased with that. I might give it a go on the car as well. Yeah, I'm really pleased that was turned out. I've left some things off. This piece of plastic up here is left off because the mounting mod is due to come in the next couple of days. Everything else is looking really clean and shiny now. So a couple of things I've got to do. One more bolt uh, nut on there. I knew I had one spare, but I couldn't figure out where it went. <laughs> um, I needed one extra rubber for the back. Um, so I reused one of the rubbers. Yeah, looking really good. So. Let me know any comments about the wax, the cleaning, how I've gone about it. Um, I know everyone's got an opinion on this. I didn't use the new boss in the end, I didn't need to. Everything cleaned up quite nicely without it. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on it. It's gonna be a couple of days before I can get everything back together. I've gotta to get those mountain mods and that um, Donut Heaven mod painted up. And then we'll get it all back in and hopefully have a blast on it and hopefully see how smooth it plays now. Um, some of the shots I was struggling with, I think we're down to the playfield being a bit gunky, to be honest, and <laughs> blaming my crap play playing uh, on the on the playfield being uh, not so clean. So I've got no excuses now. So hopefully, once I put the new balls in here and everything else, everything will be running really smooth. So yeah, a couple of days. I'm really excited to get on with it. I might do in the meantime polish up some of the metal work. So um, I've got a Dremel. I've got some cleaning products. So I might clean up the. The metal work a little bit the lockdown bar and the side rails but we'll see let's see where we get to next um but this is more of a log for me than anything else um just so i know when i changed the rubbers last when i've waxed it when i've cleaned it um but do let me know any comments down below um the wax i've used the cleaning products i've used let me know your thoughts on them because i welcome any feedback um, I'm really impressed with that wax. I'm going to put a layer on my car as I said. Yeah, any comments let me know. If not, I'll catch you on the next video which will be doing the mods and doing a little bit of an update. Catch you soon.